Okay, so in this video, we're going to look at three examples of where we've just got the inequality defined as a number line, and we're going to write them as inequalities in set notation and interval notation. So if you've watched the previous video, you might want to pause it now, have a go, and then see how you get on. Right, okay, so this first one, solid dot represents uh, uh, including, so we're going above that, so this would be x is greater than or equal to 7. Now in set notation, we would say that x belongs to the real numbers such that x is greater than or equal to 7. Now remember, it's got to be in curly brackets, okay, for set notation. For interval notation, we will be saying that x belongs to, so we can go from 7, so we're including that, so that would be a square bracket, and it's going up to positive infinity, so positive infinity, curved bracket, curved bracket always for infinity, okay? Right, let's look at the next one. So we're going between 8 and 11. 8 is included, but 11 is not, okay? So the set notation x belongs to the real numbers such that x is greater than or equal to 8 but less than 11 and close the curly bracket as for interval notation well x belongs to 8 is included and we're going up to 11 like that okay 11 is not included and then finally for the third one so we've got two regions, so we need two distinct inequalities here. So x is less than minus 5, or x is greater than or equal to 9. Okay? Now in set notation, we would write that as x belongs to the real numbers, such that x is less than minus 5, and then the, we would have the union... Or, I don't know, I'm going to fit this onto one line, so I think I'm going to go into the separate box. Apologies for that. Such that x is greater than or equal to 9. Oh, no. Okay, and then my curly bracket went a little bit weird as well. Okay, so that's how we would want to write our uh, answer in set notation. Then for interval notation, we would have, so... Uh, less than minus 5, so minus infinity in a curly bracket, sorry, in a rounded bracket, because we're not included, including infinity, minus 5 in a curved bracket, union, we're including 9, and then going up to infinity. Okay, and so they are the answers uh, for those three questions.